このまま体験版を終了することもできますがどうしますか Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export for You and welcome to part 19, the conclusion of my let's play of Fukan no Grasesta's trial version. Here we are, instead of ending the game immediately, we're going to watch the digest. Now, understood. Please enjoy. Is that the demon girl from the Cataclysm? Yeah, that's her. You're joking. An existence like that, how do you plan on defeating it? Yeah, even you, t r e y who's always so. Equanimous. Ah,、uh, this could be the first time that I've seen him break out in a cold sweat like this. But I really don't feel like teasing him right now. Well, I heard that there are various types that come out during the Cataclysm, but to think the same one would come out twice. So, in case, Rio, j e d a r あれと相対した経験があってよくもう一度会おうと思ったものだ I respect you, Jedi Coming face to face with that once before and thinking you'd come and meet her again It's not like I wanted to But when I heard that it was going to be a demon Cataclysm again. I had a bad premonition. <laughs> that I would meet her again. Onachi Mazoku, Kono Tanki Kan, the Renzoka Ste Osot Tiktail to Yukotoa, Kono Topa Sedna Shuniki Dewa, Nanka Maker Nasinko Mokte Kinarikan, the Yuno Shere. Now, Yutra is getting his composure back, that's good. So, to see this same demon girl twice in such a short time period, this isn't just some coincidental assault. Clearly, she has some kind of objective, some plan of attack. The demon cataclysm is an irregular occurrence that happens when some pressure or other builds up. But that's what it looks like from the human side. From the demon clan side, where they can manipulate treasure, take advantage of it. It's not an irregular thing, but operating under certain laws, perhaps. So that objective. Must be this sealed shrine. I know Mazukua, Mao Scoop, or it take under me. I know Sindenua, Mao Ni Kakawa, Nanika, and Aranja. That girl said that she would save the Mao, right? In this temple, is there something connected to the Mao? Yeah, we really don't understand what she means by saving the Mao to begin with. I mean, for the sake of someone who's already dead, what is she gonna do? I'm not interested in what's inside the temple. The fact that it was under such heavy guard means that there was something big hidden inside. What we need to do right now is perfectly clear. So, the name. Kono Mama Mazoka no skinny sasate shimaiba. Machinai na kumonga yabrale te shima. You're right. If we let that girl do what she likes, without a doubt, she's going to break down that gate. Now, speak of the devil. 
So, as we are um, assessing the situation, the girl summons up a great amount of power from her surroundings. Its magic power is so powerful that it warps your line of sight. And it looks like she's going to fire it right at the gate. In truth, I think it would be really nice if we could call in the knights and let them take care of it. We don't have time to be calling anyone. If we don't move now, she's going to get what she wants. And I don't have any duty to protect the city or anything, but... I can't let her do it. Get away with this. I understand. You have to show your power for that noble of yours. I need the bounty money. If I don't get it, I'll be in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you three. Sarcastic all the time. Anyway. So if it's confirmed that the interception of this cataclysm has failed, then there won't be any meaning to me coming out here like this. Let's go. If we do it now, we can win. If you say so, Jadal. Jadal, come and look at this. I've discovered something extraordinary. It's a little late to be telling you now, but... Because you go flitting after everything that catches your eye, that's why we've gotten lost. Isn't that right? It's different this time. Look, over that way. There's a girl walking around with a really scary face. And truly, she's got under her eyes these deeply suspicious yeah, rings. And she's walking along, mumbling something to herself. <laughs> Hmm, is this the western region? Um, I don't see any kind of record, library, registrar, or a curio shop. Uh, maybe I did take the wrong path. Or perhaps from the beginning I was deceived. In that case, then, at the time that I passed through the gate, then I had been on the wrong path. But, according to my calculations, I must have been on the right path at that point. Uh, it must have been when I bumped into that sake bottle. My memory's gotten disordered. It doesn't seem like she's noticed us, and she's just wandering along straight ahead. Those are clothes that I don't see, and that I've never seen. She must be a traveler. Maybe just like us, she's gotten lost. Let's go talk to her. Knock it off. How are we who are lost going to help someone else who is lost? Sakonohito! Dokashimashita ka? 
It's when you are in trouble that you should think about helping others. You over there, what's happened to you? Is something wrong? Yeah, that'd be a better translation. Hmm, it should be right about now. I think. What will? It's a meeting. In front of this holy territory gate. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We were going to meet. I'm from. We've promised to meet here in front of this holy area gate. Ah, Mao. お嬢様、お待たせいたしました。申し付けられていた着替えなども全て用意しております。Mistress, I've kept you waiting. The things you've ever directed me, the things you've directed, the change of clothes and the other things I've all prepared for you. Good job, thanks a lot. So Lilika, saying that, takes the goods that she is giving and hands them over to Jeral. Mistress, this person is... I'll introduce you. This person is Jeral Shvalka. Together with me, we're going into the Pit of Black. This slave sword. So she stares intensely and a bit rudely. Her expression doesn't change, but a black sensation is conveyed. Yes, Jedal. This is Mao Sairin. One of my family servants. Hmm. Right now, she'd be about the same status as you are, Jedal. I'm not a servant, I'm a mercenary. Well, that's the role you're fulfilling, but to be strictly accurate, as a slave sword, you're not quite the same as a mercenary. Don't correct me. As long as the role is the same, that's fine. But this woman... All this time she's been glaring at me. Mistress, it is not my place to offer my opinions, but I must share this with you. You should reconsider this slave sword. Eh? Why is that? Jedal is reliable. He's a reliable person. No. You should immediately take him to where you found him and abandon him there. Such a brute of a man. We will not keep him at the, uh, at the mansion. And... This is keeping in the way that you might say, keep a pet. I'll take good care of him. Don't treat me like a child. Am I a stray dog? And you, do you have nothing to say? Oh yeah, I got something to say to you. I'm kind of torn between 
taking a fight and sexually harassing her, actually. Yobi Yoseta no wa, wa ga Aiyo Kishidan dake no hazu datta nda ga na. Why are you here? The ones called out were. We. Were us. The Indigo Fal. Falcons? Yeah, Indigo Falcon Knights. And only us. Uh. Lilika was so worried about you, she started crying and everything. I, I wasn't crying. That is a falsehood. I just said that if we could help, even if just a little bit. So, <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Well, I'm thankful that you should try to improve our battle power, but the coordination of our troops is a fine and finely is a finely delicate part. And if we just add people at random at the last moment, it'll cause disorder in the ranks. Disregard our circumstances for the moment. You should hurry on and prioritize your objective. Just like I thought. If we just come flying in here, it will be hard to make use of anyway. And furthermore, Dalthia is saying this clearly a bit in order to protect Lilika from getting engaged in this large-scale battle here. But it seems like her thoughts aren't going to be... her wishes aren't going to be fulfilled. Hey, the enemies are attacking. You know, if we are attacked, we're going to resist. You can't exactly tell us not to, can you? Ah, jeez. You just can't read the situation, can you? Well, can't be helped. Lustine and Jedal. Together with me, let's fight some monsters. Of course, we're going to help you with all of our might. Those two girls are really good friends. <laughs> Sorry, Yurisha. Having you carry all of the luggage. It is I who said that I wanted to go shopping. And since you can't carry the luggage as you are, that I carry it is natural. Oh, that's right. There's a little more that I'd like to buy. Could I have you come along with me? I'm sorry to burden you, though. Do not worry about it. This is also for my master's... for my master's sake, so... It's only natural that I should do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yurisha, you really do love Jedal, don't you? Well, to say love is is to leave it open to interpretation, so I can't answer that. But 
to act on his behalf it gives me pleasure, I can say. それが好きってことではないでしょうか。つまりその主人に言われるならあんなことやこんなことも命令であれば何でもってことですよね。Hmm, isn't that meaning that you love him? In other words, if your master told you to, you do this and you do that. Under orders, you just do anything, right? Note that this and that is one of those euphemisms for our sex. Yes, of course I would. No matter what he asks for, if I can fulfill him. Ah, I thought so, that's what it was. It's love, that's love. In the meaning that we mean, that's love, right there. It's love, Hmm, if I may question you in return, in that meaning of love, since we're speaking of it, Lilika, do you love him? I wanted to ask this properly once, so I would like to take this opportunity. Are you prepared to marry him? Marry him? Wait, wait a minute, just a minute. The, the conversation's gotten, gotten uh, flying. Just went flying ahead here. Considering the exchanges that you have with him, as I have seen, I considered that the possibility was there. あるじの妻であれば好みが忠誠を誓う相手となりますし我があるじがもっとあるじらしく振る舞うよう As his wife, I would be able to with you being his wife, I could pledge my loyal my allegiance to you as well to allow him to become the greatest man he can be. I would also cooperate to you to the best of my ability. With you, uh, cooperate with your endeavors to the best of my ability as well. Even if you're skipping ahead to after we're married and everything, uh, anyway. Around Jadal, there's all kinds of attractive women. It's not like I'm the only one it could be. And more than that, Yurisa, didn't you... What about you? Just recently, you, you went and showed him your chest. Even if it was in order to show that to someone you didn't love. If that is one of his... I understood that that is one of his desires. If it is necessary to prevent him from losing control. I'm willing to offer up my body. You're prepared for that. So you're asking me if I'm prepared in that way. 
Ah, this conversation headed a different way than I thought it would. Are Lilica? So, Tirava Kairu Hoko this year? No Korino Kaimono Aino this car? Say, Lilica. That way is the way home. Wasn't there more chopping that you wanted to do? Today I can't go shopping anymore. I can't even think about it. My head's so full of so many things. Ah, poor girl. Entering into the throne room, we continue forward and bow our heads. We're here to have a council, and we've been confirmed to come in. And finally, a powerful voice echoes to the ceiling. I am the present Interceptor King, Saro Grasesta the 27th. Ankai Rebio or Seatusta Kosek or Hyokashi, Medorio Yurus, Omoteo Age. You have conquered the Dark Mausoleum. Your results are well received. I permit you to raise your heads. And hearing those words, Lilica raises her head. Continuing that, we stand up. Lilica Rustine des. Heka, Gokige Urubashu Zonjimas. I am Lilica Rustine. Your Majesty, I hope it is pleasurable to meet you. Pleasurable to you that we are here. Dushtide, Obregar. Ai mo kawarazu kikai na karadada. Dushtide, I remember you. As before, you have a strange body. As he speaks his words, a strange presser, pressure emanates from him. This is, in this kingdom, the strongest warrior. Even that demon girl, the Majin Thrureti, Thru is on the same level. He's on the same level. Uh, or perhaps even higher. This isn't a battlefield. But for some reason, just standing across from him, an unpleasant sweat starts to run down one's back. You are Jedal Shavalka. Is that right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yes. With a glance from Lilica, I remember to rephrase the words I use. Yeah, Jadal is a coarse type, you know. According to the reports, you are a slave sword, possessed by the Rustine family. Are you from this country? Originally, I'm from Belgarde, a mercenary. Um, your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad at rearranging your 
pattern of speech, aren't you? I was not given a high education in my due to the environment I was brought in, up in. Um, okay, it all stumbles over some words to make this, to try and make the way he says it sound formal. And seeing me stumble over the formal speaking. Sato gives this invincible smile. Yoshi. Sono son o yurus tame ni. Ichido kubi o haner to shio. Very well. I will forgive your rudeness. I will claim one, but I will claim one neck for it. Huh. This conversation went fast. That would be saying he's killing me, but it doesn't seem like he's got the, uh... It doesn't seem like that's his intention. Kinda interesting. Well, go ahead and try. But my neck isn't so easily... Not yours. Your masters. The head of the Lushtine family's neck. As he speaks it, it's not immediately grasped. I mean, what he's saying is so ridiculous. So we look at his face. At his face. And Saro's severe gla severe, yeah, glance is directed not at Jedal, but at Lilica beside him. Ika. Understand. Right now, I'm taking my sword to claim your master's neck. Show me you can protect her. He's moving slowly and deliberately. Grasping the hilt of his sword. Swinging it side to side. Showing us. Oh, you're gonna test us? You did not. You did not threaten Lilica. This here, we've seen before. Again, hit of advertising the commercial version. So that completes the content in the trial version. Maybe you're interested in buying and maybe you aren't. There are links in the description if you're interested. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.